All right, so Bobby, Jimmy, we're gonna make these uh, these trailers. We're gonna make the back of that teardrop trailer. Could you tell me a little bit about that teardrop trailer? What are we looking at? I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a uh, it's a beautiful piece. It is a Neiman Marcus project that we did uh, back in 2013 with uh, the Christmas catalog, I think, and it was a gift that was a one of a kind gift. that good do you think five. we get to a program where we make a lot more we're getting five for kentucky and after they get here and people see how versatile they are and how effective they are yes see this video and they're gonna say I would love to have my own in my market you might just see a big increase in, in in sales yep do all those stores have seven foot wide entrances I'm not sure I was told that they do I think so <laughs> if not I've got this ice pick and we'll be able to pry the doors to where we need them to get I don't know if you've seen I don't know if you've seen these but yeah I heard about them uh, Printed and made on the letterpress that I fully restored in my shop, I've just released a new batch of hand press signs and prints in my store. So if you click on the link in the description below, you can head over there and check them out. And if you go to the tool section of the store, there's a few huge razor blades still left, plus a few other cool accessories like the solid brass I make stickers. Click in the link in the description below and head over there and check it all out. Thank you all very, very much. Introduce yourself and who you are and what you do. But I am Bobby Burke. I'm the national brand ambassador for Bullet Bourbon. I run the brand ambassador program and uh, get to work on the cultural frontier, which is working with people like yourself. And where are you right now? Where, where are you looking? We're in Kentucky, man. We're in my shop in Kentucky. This is where you've been. Your name is spray painted on the ground here. You know where we are. <laughs> and not just one place. If this camera could reach, we would go in there and show everybody where you lost a pinky on the um, saw stop. How far away are you from the Bullet Distillery right now? Right now, the Bullet Distillery, Bullet Distilling Company, is about 40 minutes away. So up I-264. Very easy. We're right at the airport. So when you land in Louisville, we could get you out there in like 40, 45 minutes. distillery it's a big big place and what is the speed limit at the distillery if anybody shows up what do they have to do they have to drive how fast this is funny um you're only asking this because you've been in this place <laughs> and you get screamed at if you go over <laughs> 10 miles an hour and it's a good call out so nine nine point nine nine five mm -hmm. miles per hour
I'm lucky enough to call you a brother at this point, but I mean, you do inspire so many people that meet you for the first time. Thank um, you so in, much. In and outside of whiskey. I mean, I really don't like you that much, but right. most people do. There you have it. That looks great. As these as these start to procreate and they start catching popularity, we'll have the ability to expand and amplify and build better ones. Right. So these first five are going to be the intro. We're going to see how it goes. I got to figure out. I got to develop a system by which I can make a lot of them quickly. And yeah. uh, it's going to be a lot of CNC parts. And, you know, I'm sure the materials will change as we dig into it. board power here you know of course you can get these to be as bigger i mean you can turn these into transformers jimmy knowing you but i mean it's really simple you chill on the inside hang out talk to your friends share some whiskey share some stories talk about the first time you met jimmy deresta and if you've never met him you're not missing much you know that kind of stuff yeah those those um, fenders are actually quite beautiful those are like fenders off of an old ford or something they are 48 49 ford yep 
Wow. With the moon, with the moon caps on there, yeah. But you're getting 2020 boat fenders. I hope you know that for the budget. I kind of do like a finial bumper around the back of it, just to kind of give it like a punctuation. That's um, cool. I think I think it might need a, a license plate. There's more room for branding right there. Yeah. Okay. Possibly. truck to you in about three weeks and we're gonna load all five chuck says he needs three but i told him i'm gonna try have all of them done how many is all of them five
I assume some of them will kind of probably stay on as long as possible. Some of them yeah. might just do a cycle and go. 100%. 100%. I think some of them might like last 90 days. Some of them might last six months. You never know. Yeah. You just never know. You may start seeing these in upstate New York, man. I mean, these, I looked at your design. Um, I haven't been like right up next to it yet, but I saw the the sketch and the drawings and I've seen tons of pictures that you've sent. And these right. things were, these, they look like they're going to, people aren't going to want to just turn and burn these. Yeah. I mean, a lot of liquor stores will show up and they'll have, you know, they don't get a lot of cool bespoke artis, artisanal, you know, built maker stuff like this. And um, when they find out who did it, they're probably not going to want to just throw it in the trash. Trust me. We could eBay them. Jimmy, don't mess this up. <laughs>